Good afternoon, everyone. It's my great honor to speak for Asian American parents to support the students for fair admission. Today, I want to deliver two messages about our Asian American community and two hopes to the Supreme Court. First of all, like many of other Asian American parents, I place a high value on my children's education. The emphasis on education is deeply rooted in Asian American culture. We believe knowledge is power, and knowledge can change our current situations and shape our future. The high achievement of Asian American children comes nowhere but a byproduct of years of commitment, investment in time and energy, care, love, and most importantly, actual effort and hard work. Second, Asian Americans are not a privileged group. We pay for our children's education, not with extraordinary wealth, but with extraordinary effort and measures. To save kids education funds, Asian parents often have to budget educational costs into our finance many years in advance. Sadly, lawyers from Students for Fair Admissions uncovered tons of evidence that Howard University and the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill have been using quota for different ethnic groups in their admission policies. Howard does this by manipulating non-academic criteria such as personal rating, which leaves Asian American applicants with the lowest admission rate compared to other ethnic groups. Howard perceives Asian students as unkind, not personable, and lacking leadership skills. This is simply not true. Take my own child as an example. My older son graduated from a dual enrollment program this year, receiving a high school diploma and associate degree from a local college at the same time. He has been an honor student on Dean's list and received President Education Awards, earned over 1,000 community service hours, and received the President Volunteer Service Gold Awards for four consecutive years. Served as an executive officer at Maryland State Forage Council, and was selected to represent Maryland at the National Forage Conference in 2021. Although he was an outstanding all-around student, my son was unfortunately rejected by the Un University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, while a couple of his schoolmates with a much lower GPA and no extracurricular activities were accepted for no reason except their different skin colors. I would like UNC and Howard to please tell me how Asian American students like my son are unkind, not personable, and lacking leadership skills? I would argue this is simply your biased and a stereotypical view of Asian Americans. Instead of promoting meritocracy in education, you beat down high performers like my son using racial preferences. This is troubling. You use quota to achieve your unconstitutional agenda. This is unacceptable. On behalf of Asian American parents, I hope the U.S. Supreme Court ends the use of racial classifications and the preferences at all universities in the United States. I also hope that the U.S. Supreme Court will use these two cases to begin the restoration of colorblind covenants
element that holds together Americans of all races and ethnicities. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.